Okay, so good day everyone. Uh, for today, I'll be discussing on how to convert. Uh, for the previous videos, it was discussed on how to convert um, decimal to hexa, decimal to binary, binary and vice versa. Now, for this tutorial, I'll discuss on how to convert hexa to decimal and hexa ah octal I should say octal to decimal so still take note that the very basis of conversion is actually binary so if we are to convert hexa or hexadecimal to decimal that would be actually to make it easier that would be hexa to binary to decimal the same with octal octal to decimal to make it easier that would be octal to binary to decimal the process of that one is more simpler if you have to uh, if you have mastered uh, conversion of decimal to binary and binary to decimal then other conversion of basis would be easy okay let's try it so let's start first with hexa to decimal that is hexa to decimal so I'll give a hexadecimal number let's say a b c then we convert that one to decimal or more, a more simpler one so let's try uh, a a then we convert that one into base of 10. A is actually equivalent to value 10. Now, if we are to convert this one into binary, the same conversion that is decimal to binary, find the number closest to 10 but less than 10. So that would be actually 8. So 10 minus 8 is 2. So the remaining number is 2. Then the rest is 0. Okay, I'll repeat. So find the number closest to 10, but less than 10. So that would be 8. So 10 minus 8, that would be 2. So the remaining number is 2. 4 is greater than 2, so it would be 0. So these are the same, so it would be 1. So 2 minus 2. It would be 0, so 1 would be 0. So the binary equivalent of A is 10, 10. Now, if we are to convert binary to decimal, take note, uh, binary to decimal, we just need to add the powers of 2, which compose of a digit 1. So... 8 has a digit 1 and 2 has a digit 1. So that would be actually 10. So that is easy. Because it's a single digit. How about if we talk about multiple digit? Let's try another example. So let's say we have a digit A1 or A1, A17. Okay, so A17, we convert that one into base of 10. So A17, A is 10, then 1, then 7. 
So let's start with 10. The decimal equivalent of A is, is 0, 1, 0, 1. This is A. For 1, that is 1. Take note, a digit of hexadecimal is equivalent to 4 bits. So 0, 0, 0. Then we have 7. That would be 1, 1, 1, 0. So this is 1 and this is 7. Okay? So if you are wondering how did we get uh, 1, 1, 1, that is 4 plus 2 plus 1, that is equivalent to 7, so that would be 1, 1, 1. Now, this is now the binary digit of A17. If we are to write that one, that would be 1, 1, 1, 0. 7 first, because here we have 7, then the digits of 1, which is 1, 0, 0, 0. Then lastly, we have the digits of A, that is 0, 1, 0, 1. So this is the binary digit of A17. The next thing that we should do is to convert this binary digit into decimal. How should we do that one? We just need to add the digits with 1. So here, 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 and here. That would be actually 2048 plus 512 plus 16 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. So 8 plus 2 plus 6 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. So 8 plus 2 is 10 plus 6 is 16 plus 4 is 20 plus 2 plus 1 is 23 carry 2. So 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 1, that is 7, plus 1, that would be 8, so this, this is 8. And 0 plus 5, that would be 5, then 2. So the answer of A17, base of 16, take note, that is base of 16, is 2583 decimal, or base of 10. Okay, another example. <coughs> So we have uh, one, one, seven, seven, base of 16, we convert it to base of 10 or decimal. So we have digit seven, seven, then one. So but what is the binary of seven? That would be one, one, one. But take note, we are dealing with hexa, so that would be four digits. So this is equivalent to 0, 1, 1, 1. Same with here, 0, 1, 1, 1. And 1, that would be 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay? So we write the digits. So that would be 1, 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 1, 0. Then 1, 0, 0, 0. So that's it. The next thing that we should do is to add all the digits with 1. So this would be 256, 64, 32, 16, 4, 2, and 1. So that would be 256 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 so 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 2 is 12 plus 6 is 18 plus 4 is 22 plus 2 is 24 then 25 so 2 plus 5 7 plus 6 is 13 plus 3 16 plus 1 that is 17 carry 1. Then 1 plus 2, that is 3. So the equivalent of 1776 base of 16 is 375 base of 10. Okay, next.
Another example. Let's say A13. Right? So A13 base of 16. Convert that one into base of 10. Okay, so A13, so we have uh, A, we have 1, and 3. So A is actually 10. So in the previous example, that would be equivalent to 1, 0, 1, 0. Then 1 is 1, but we need 4 digits, so let's add 3 zeros. And then 3, that is actually 2 plus 1 here. 2 plus 1, so here 1, 1, so that would be 1, 1. To make it 4 digit, add 2 zeros. So if we are to write that one now, so the digit 3 first, so that would be 1, 1, 0, 0. The next digit 1, which is 1, 0, 0, 0, and the last digit is 0, 1, 0, Okay, so the next thing that you should do is to add all the digits. So if you are to add the digits, that would be, so 2048 has 1, so that is 2048 plus, we have 512, and then the next one is 16, and then we have 2, and then we have 1. So if we are to add that one, 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 6 is 16, plus 2 is 18, then plus 1 is 19, carry 1, then 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 1 is 6, plus 1, that would be 7, then 0 plus 5, that would be 5, then bring down 2, so that would be 200, uh, 2,579. And that's how you convert hexa to decimal. Okay, next. The next one is how do we convert an octal? Okay, so octal. Octal to decimal. Let's have an example. So we have 77 base of 8. We need to convert that one into base of 10. So we have 7 and 7. So the digits of 7, take note. Huh? If we are dealing with octal, that would be 3 bits. So 7 and 7, so that would be 3 bits. So 4 plus 2 plus 1, that would be 7. So 1, 1, 1. This is 1, 1, 1. Then we need to write that one. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 ones. Now you just need to add those one. So that would be 32 plus 16 plus uh, 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 so 2 plus 6 8 plus 8 16 plus 4 20 plus 2 22 plus 1 23 so that is 3 carry 2 huh? is that correct? Okay. so 2 plus 3 is 5 then plus 1 that is 63 so 77 base of 8 is actually 63 base of 10. Okay, another example. Another example is, let's say, let's assume we have 36. 
base of 8 to base of 10. So 36 base of 8, we have digit 6 and 3. So for 6, that is uh, 4, then 2, then 0. That would be 1, 1, 0. For 3, that would be 1, 1. But we need 4 digits, so that is 0, 1, 1. Then we write it. So the 6 digit first. Digit 6, I should say. Digit 6 first, so that is 0, 1, 1. Then 1, 1, 0. Then you just need to add all the 1 here. Okay. So that would be... 16, 8, 4, and 2. 16 plus 8 plus 4, then plus 2. So 6 plus 8, that is 14 plus 4. <coughs> That is 18 plus 2, that would be 0, carry 2. Then 2 plus 1, that would be 30. So this is equivalent to 30. Okay, another one. So this would be the last example. Let's say we have 1, 7, 4, 2. Base of 8, we convert that one into base of 10. So 1, 7, 4, four 2, we have 1, then 7, then 4, then 2. 1 is 0, 0, 1. 7 is 1, 1, 1. 4 is... 1, 0, 0. Then 2 is 0, 1, 0. Then we need to write the uh, binary digit. So the digit 2 first is equivalent to 0, 1, 0. Then digit 4, that is 0, 0, 1. And digit 7, 1, 1, 1. And lastly, the digit 1, which is 1, 0, 0. Then we need to add all the digits with 1. So it is 512, 256, 128, 64, 32, and 2. Okay, let's try. That would be equivalent to uh, 512 plus 256. 128, 64, 32, and a digit. So 2 plus 6 plus 8, that is 16, plus 4, 20, plus 2 plus 2, 24. Then 2 plus 1 plus 5, that is 8, plus 2, is 10, plus 6, 16 plus 3 is 19. And carry one. Then one five one plus five plus two plus one. That would be actually nine. So the equivalent of one seven four two base of eight to decimal or base of ten. Base of ten is nine hundred ninety four. And that's all. Thank you.